Lone Ranger. Louder than that. Come on. Try to stop the train. It's not being a laughing matter. Archie, funny band came in, You want me to watch what hell? Yes, Tom. They head this way. Warn us immediately. And you say Harky was one of Quanfo's raiders? One of the most vicious of the pack. They weren't soldiers, they were renegades. I commanded the federal force that wiped them out in Kentucky. Harky swore then that he'd get me. Then he must have been the one that shot at you on the train. Looks that way. But I can't figure why he'd be riding so openly into town. 
I thought Hockey still was in federal prison. So did I. Think he escaped? I don't know. But I intend to find out. Wait a minute. I'll go with you. Just a minute, Frank. Start with you, Tano, and I would like to handle this. Look, my friend, you and Tano have fought enough of my battle. Why, without you two, there wouldn't even be a Miller's Junction. Yeah, and the folks in this town ain't never going to forget that either. Well, we're glad we could help. I know you don't need anyone to fight your battles, Frank, but we'd like to take hockey without any gunplay if possible. Well, all right, if you think that best, but be careful. Ah, sure feels good to get out of the saddle, don't it, kid? <laughs> One thing about these Yankees, they sure know how to build soft beds. Almost as soft as their heads, I reckon. Hey, what are you so jumpy about, kid? Ain't nobody gonna do nothing about us being up here. <laughs> we're as free as a Georgia sunshine. Nobody knows it was us that stopped that train. And we're gonna enjoy this northern hospitality until we finish what we came here for. And there ain't no hurry about it, neither. No, sir. We're gonna let that Yankee Major squirm a little, eh, boy? You all right? Ain't nothing hurting you, is there? Move easy, Harky. <laughs> Ain't that exactly what you'd expect in a Yankee town? Busting in on a couple of peaceful men? What's on your mind, boys? If you come to rob us, you're out of luck. We southern fellas are real poor. We haven't come here to rob you. Then what are you here for? Just checking. You're a long way from prison, aren't you? That any of your business? It's keep criminal our business. You're working on the wrong information, men. I've been released. He's right, Tano. It's illegal parole. Then why you come here? Any law against a man riding where he wants? This peaceful town, Harky. Due to the efforts of Frank Miller. Miller? Who's Frank Miller? Let me refresh your memory. The major that captured you when you rode with Quantrell. That right? He's here in town? Well, what do you know? It's a small world, ain't it? Someone tried to kill him just this morning. Well, looks like a lot of people don't like Yankees, huh, Clint? Clint and me here hates them. We hate them deep down and always will for what they've done to us. The war is over, Harky. Frank Miller only did what he had to do as a Union officer. And now that's very nice. Me and Clint here is going to do what we got to do, too. It's peacetime now. Men have to forget their differences. Work together. I don't agree with what you did with Quantrell. You're free now. Give yourself a break. Forget the past. I ain't never gonna forget the past. And I ain't gonna let him forget it, neither. What about you, son? What hold is this man over you? He? My brother, that's what. Is that any reason to make him like you? Maybe he thinks differently. Uh, Clinton and me thinks the same on everything. What about it, son? <laughs> he ain't gonna answer you, mister. He ain't gonna answer nobody ever. A Yankee's bullet took care of that. Went clean through. He's been in the hospital ever since the war, and from now on, he's thinking and feeling just like I tells him to. Ain't that right, Clint? Other men suffered from the war, Clint. Men on both sides. That's how war is. But that's no reason to carry your hate. What do you want him to do, thank him? Maybe he should get down on his knees and say, thank you, Mr. Yankee. Much obliged for shooting my throat to bits so I can't talk. I don't suppose there's much that'll change your mind, Harky. Hate like yours runs pretty deep. But don't try to drag your brother down with you. Give him a chance. Like the Yankees did, maybe? They fixed him up good. They fixed him up so he ain't fit for nothing. Can't talk, can't hold down a job. He's just plumb useless to himself or to anybody. Useless. If it weren't for me, he might just as well be dead and he knows it. That's not true and you know it. He's got two good arms, two good legs and a mind. You bet your life he has and he's gonna use them too. Doing just what I tells him to. And you'd better tell it to him straight. If anything happens to Frank Miller, the both of you will answer to me. <laughs> oh, now, boy, you didn't let any of that hogwash get to you, did you? Look, Clint, you and me's gonna do all right. And I ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. If you just do like I tell you to, you hear? You all hear? Got a match? 
Well, I'm fresh out, partner. Hey, fella, got a match? Got a chore, man. Where you from, stranger? You're kind of unfriendly like, ain't you? Where we come from, bub? Man asks a civil question, he expects a civil answer. Look at here, boy. I'm just as stubborn as you are. I don't cater to being snubbed. I'm going to get an answer out of you if I've got to shake it up. Talk. Come on, come on! Keep it happy. Hold it, mister. You stop. You all right, son? What's this all about? Ask him. Maybe you can get an answer out of him. We couldn't. No, he can't answer. He was injured in the war. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. I, I didn't know. Me too, partner. I don't think too harshly of them, Clint. It was thoughtless, but not intentional. I'd like you to do me a favor. I want you to give me a chance to prove that your brother is wrong. I want to talk to you alone. No, your brother doesn't have to know. We'll meet just east of town by the big tree. I know you've had a tough time of it, Clint. But you've only lost your voice. Not your reason. I think I can help you if you'll only give me a chance. He won't let you nothing, mister. Not if I got anything to say about it. You just leave him alone. We don't want nothing to do with you, do you hear? Come on, kid. Make him listen to you, Kimisami. I hope so, Tano. I'll know this afternoon. Silver looks like he isn't coming. Glad you decided to give me a chance. I'm going to try to show you a few things. All you have to do is look. The decision is yours. All of that was once a barren desert until the railroad came. The railroad brought people, machinery, tools for making things grow. Frank Miller was the man behind the railroad here. He built some of it with his own hands, some of it with borrowed money, and all of it with his heart. He worked shoulder to shoulder with men who were once his enemies. Frank Miller is the man your brother wants to kill. See those two ranchers there? I met them once. One of them was a Confederate captain, the other a Union corporal. Join forces now in a common cause. Feed their families and to rebuild a torn country. It's the same everywhere, Clint. Hatred and bitterness brought tragedy to this land. Now, with God's help, goodwill and tolerance are repairing the damages. Those fires were made by good neighbors. Yanks, Rebs, working together for the good of all. It's the only way, Clint, believe me. Clint, just one more thing. There's someone in here I want you to meet. Well, Frank, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Clint Harkin. Clint, this is Frank Miller, the man I was telling you about. Pleased to meet you, Clint. I'm sorry with you, Frank. I'd like to show Clint around a little. Not at all. Glad to have you. Thanks. Hey, that's our signal. Nate isn't here to take the message. Say, my friend, you... Clint. You know Morris Code? Might be important, son. Take it down. Well, doggone, it's about time I got a little help around here. You know, I've been telling you, there's too much work around here for a little old boy from Mississippi. 
Always complaining. Ed, shake hands with Clint Harkin. My pleasure, son. I understand you're all from Georgia. Well, I always said Mississippi was the garden spot of the South, but I got to admit it's real nice in Georgia, too. This is a confirmation from an order up north. Much obliged, Clint. Ed, lucky for you, Clint was here. Well, it takes us southern boys to show them how it's done, eh, Clint? Say, where'd you all learn the code? Oh, yeah, I know about you, Andrew. Well, just tap it out for me there with the pencil. Oh, in the Army, huh? Well, say, you know, we sure could use you around here. Yes, sir. What about it, Frank? Job open? Sure it is. How about it, Clint? You think you'd like it here? A lot of real nice folks in this town. Clint. Wait a minute, Clint. Can't you see how wrong your brother is? There are a lot of jobs you can do. Honest jobs. Think it over, son. You've got your whole life ahead of you. It can be a good life. your whole life ahead of you, Clint. He ain't fit for nothing. Can't talk, can't hold on a job, plumb useless. You've only lost your voice, not your reason. You and me gonna get even, Clint, for what they did to you. Forget the past, forget the bitterness. He can't do nothing. It can be a good life. Can't do nothing. Come on, boy, wake up. We got things to do. We got us a little old Yankee major to kill. Yes, sir, we let him squirm just long enough. Today, we're going to do what we come to do, and it's going to be a real pleasure. <laughs> yes, sir, a real pleasure. What's the matter, kid? Come on, come on, what's on your mind? No, no what? You mean you're right? I could see it coming. Last night, I could see it coming. You can't talk, so you let your conscience do it for you. Well, let me tell you something. That masked man may have put a bug in your ear, but you can bet your life it ain't contagious. That Yankee Major's gonna get himself killed today. And you, mister, you better get your horse and ride out of town fast. Why, you...
How's the arm? All fixed up? I told the doc to do an extra special job on him. Gotta take good care of my employees. We're sorry about you, brother, son. But you know, a man just can't live with bitterness like that. We've got a big job ahead of us here, Clint. I'm very glad you're gonna be part of it. And you're gonna have a lot of friends from now on, too. And you know something, Ed? I think I know who's gonna head the list. The Lone Ranger. Thank <laughs> you.